Hey guys, this is going to be an updated foundation routine. Using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, I am freaking obsessed with this foundation. I've had it now for over a month and I probably have been wearing it in every single video. A lot of you guys have asked to see a demonstration, so here you go. I already did my eyes and everything. This is just going to be basically the foundation application. I'm also going to show you the concealer, which I love, and hopefully you enjoy this. I know I'm super late on the bandwagon. I feel like this was the foundation of YouTube years and years ago and I just never tried it. I always tried to like finish what I had but the company sent this to me and I couldn't not try it so I'm just so excited to share with you my love for this because I haven't been this pumped up about a foundation probably because I haven't really tried a new foundation in a really long time. Also this new background I'm actually filming in my bedroom. I usually film in my office but it's super early. Addison's actually still sleeping which never happens. I never get to film this early and the sun is so bright and so when I tried to sit in front of my window, all you saw was like blinds and my window panes and it was just, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a fun, it would have been really distracting. So I kind of just changed this around so that I could film this. I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand and I really don't use all that much. This foundation is pretty full coverage. A little bit goes a long, long way actually have a mirror right here. So I just dot it all over and then I use a beauty blender. This one is the black one. And I make sure to get it really nice and damp. That's the trick. Some, quite, some people have asked me how I get it to look so sheer. A very damp beauty blender. That's the trick. I'm in the shade 2W2. I should probably mention that. It, um, it's probably like one shade darker than I need right now, but it still works. Once I get a little bit tan, it'll be perfect, but... I love to do this foundation in front of a window also because it isn't the exact shade match and sometimes if I don't I can't really tell if it's blended into my skin and then I end up getting a line, which is my biggest pet peeve ever, foundation lines. And that's that. Just a lot of blending. And that's it. That is the foundation. I don't, I don't what? I don't set it. I don't put any kind of setting powder and you can, if you have, you know, problematic skin and you, you want the extra coverage, you definitely can, but I find that's how it kind of starts to look really powdery and plastic and not as natural. Like, you can still see some of my imperfections, and I actually like that. I know a lot of people, you know, want, like, their skin to just look perfect with all their imperfections covered, but I actually love a foundation when I can actually still see my skin underneath. It just, to me, it makes it makes it look more real and it makes it look more like your skin and not, you know, just a plastic covering of your face. So that is the actual foundation. I'm just going to finish up with the rest of my face, put a little bit of this concealer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 01 Light and kind of reminds me of the MAC Select Moisture. And I just... It's light, so I use it under my eyes. I don't really use it over over top my face because I need a little bit of a darker shade. And I use the tip of my beauty blender to blend that under my eyes. And again, I don't set this either. I don't really feel the need to. It doesn't crease on me. It kind of just absorbs right into your skin and into that foundation, and it's beautiful. And then I just kind of take what's ever left and go around my mouth with it just to brighten up there a little bit. So that is the concealer on. You can just tell what a difference that is. And it's the one thing that I, probably the thing that I love the most about this foundation is it lasts all day long. Like I go to take my makeup off normally around 11 o'clock at night and it still looks as perfect as when I first applied it during the day. It's just, 
It's amazing. A lot of times I go to take it off and I'm like, oh, it still looks so good. I don't want to take my makeup off. Like I want to go out or do something, but it just stays in place. It holds your powder products on. And I didn't even use a primer. I sometimes use a primer, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on my mood, but today I didn't use one and it doesn't matter because this foundation will, will stay locked in place. So to finish with the rest of my face, I'm using this IT Cosmetics what is this called? The Live Love, Live Love Laugh Vitality Dip Face Disc. And it's a blush, bronzer, and highlight. This is amazing. I've been using this a lot too. The bronzer, <laughs> I wanted to say the bronzer. The bronzer is matte. The blush is this really pretty cherry pink. And the highlighter does have a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to use the Studio Gear number 11 brush, which is a little bit angled and use a little bit of the matte bronzer to just kind of accentuate my cheekbones a little bit. This bronzer is really beautiful. It doesn't actually have any orangey undertones. It's just a really good, true matte bronzer. And then I just take a little bit up on my hairline as close the hairline as I can. And then I just go down the sides of my nose just to shape that a little bit. And a little bit on my chin and whatever's left I just kind of bring it down my neck and on my jawline. Okay. Sticking with the palette and a big flat fluffy brush. This is the Heavenly Luxe Radiance Wand from IT. It came in a set from QVC. I'm using the blush, which is like I said, just a really pretty cherry pink. And you don't need a lot of this blush. Pop a little bit on the apples. It's like perfect. It goes perfectly with the bronzer. And again, this will stay all day. Probably because it's a great product. Also because it has the base of Estee Lauder's foundation and it's amazing. And then this really pretty highlight just a little bit because it's pretty shimmery. This is a MAC 225. You can't actually get this anymore but Real Techniques has a brush very similar. Right on my cheekbones. Take a little bit down my nose. Right here. Here. And here. And then I always like to just take this airbrush foundation brush from Sephora and just blend. It's clean and I just like to blend everything and make sure it's... Well now Addison's probably going to wake up. <laughs> Jakey's barking. It just makes everything look really seamless and blended. I don't know what he's barking at. There's nobody outside. Okay. So we're done So That is my entire foundation routine. I'm really quickly going to just tell you what the rest of the makeup I have on in case you're wondering. On my lips is this NYX Butter Gloss in Maple Blondie. It's just a pretty neutral light pink. I also put this on my eyes. This is a trio from IT Cosmetics. It's called Pretty in Spring. And I just use these three colors. I use the cream all over and up under my brow, then the pink on my lid and the brown in the crease. I use Teddy Eye Coal as my eyeliner, which oldie but another goodie, and I really love this. It's a really pretty coppery brown. So I did on the top and on the bottom, I smudged a little bit of soft brown and texture. Yeah, soft brown and texture, these two shades. And I just smoked them underneath my eye, underneath my lash line. A little coat of mascara and the lashes that I have on are by Kiss. I'll put the, the uh, name of them below. I used a bit of this brow universal taupe build a brow from it. Awesome stuff. And then also right in the inner corner and also on my lower waterline, I used this eyeliner pencil. It's a Stay Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in the shade Pearl, and it's a really pretty champagne. It doesn't really make that much of a, of a difference on my actual lash line, but in the inner corner, it's a really pretty little sparkly highlight. So that's that. And that's pretty much it for the rest of the makeup on my face. I'm just going to spray it quick with this setting spray from Scandinavia. And I am done. And this is a miracle that I am all ready for the day. And Addison's not even awake yet. Winning! 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this kind of setup. I'm serious, like literally, I hate that I always say literally. I'm literally sitting right in front of my window, so it's all natural light. I don't have any of my lights on right now. So let me know what you guys think. I think it all just depends on the day and where the sun is at the moment, but I kind of like I kind of like this angle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. In the back, this is just my kind of daily go-to stickers that I always like to keep on me because I just know that I'm going to be needed.